All right, I thought I'd give you guys a quick update of what I've been doing here lately. Um, I've been working on a circuit idea for uh, since last year for this crystal cell that I make. Um, these crystal cells have high impedances in them, and it's been very hard to get them to power much of anything. But I'm working on a circuit. I'm getting some headway now. Uh, I'm making some good results. or getting edging closer to what I want. Um, but yeah. I thought I'd give you guys an update here of what I'm working on right now. And is the two foot long crystal cell I'll be using in this uh, video. Here's the circuit. Um, uh, I give, uh, I'll give out the, uh, the circuit design a little bit later. Um, it uses a, a transistor that most people aren't familiar with. Uh, it's not, it's no NPN, it's no PNP. Uh, I'll tell you that much right now. So. You really can't replicate it just by looking at it because it's not the transistor you're expecting it to be. But um, basically, the circuit blinks and powers the LED. And the reason why it does this blinking in this rate is for a very good reason. I can get power up here. It's about the blink rate I was looking for. And she's powering that uh, LED. This is all fine and dandy, yay! And um, if I move the yellow connection from the crystal cell, the thing stops. So the crystal cell is being used as a component in this circuit. Connect it back up, and it fires back up. Yay! All right. Well, this is all. This is all great. This is what I've been looking for. This is what I've been edging towards, and I've got some interesting concepts I'll be working on here soon bring it to uh, fruition and yeah and um uh, as a little bonus uh, I guess I'll show you something else uh, I can also use it as a cap tret look at the cap tret and the cap tret of course is the top of the capacitor so you can also use the circuit as a cap tret now it's also one of the things that I've been exploring uh, using the crystal cell and the cap tret idea together so I do have not forgotten the cap tret. I still I still work with it. Um, I'm just trying to combine things together here and trying to make a uh, circuit here. I've been looking forward to uh, basically what the circuit does. Well, the final circuit will do. Hopefully, I'll get there. Is um it'll take the voltage of the capacitor. I mean, the voltage you'll voltage of the crystal cell. Put that in series with a capacitor like this one right here. And then it will take the energy there, charge up another capacitor, then cap dump that capacitor back into the main capacitor. And basically, the crystal cell's voltage and the original capacitor's voltage together is higher than voltage in, inside the original voltage of this capacitor. And you charge up to that voltage in this capacitor and you dump it back into the first capacitor. And what you get there is a capacitor like this which will keep recharging itself up and up then you run into issues like well it, it can get overcharged so you have to find a way to discharge the circuit uh, proportionally to your charging so you have to have like a, a drain resistor in there somehow that will drain every so often your capacitor so you can keep repeating the process because you can't overcharge these capacitors because that will be very bad but yeah there you go folks this is what I've been working on. I'll keep you guys tuned. I'll let you guys give you guys some updates of what's going on. But this is this is good progress so far.